Yeah. Good everyone, my name is Graphics. Today we want to draw this disc in isometric. So the first thing you do, like I said, you draw your axis. Draw the vertical line, which we call the y axis, right? And you draw the other inclined line, we we'll call it the x axis, right? Now, and that is just to represent the length, while the y axis represents the height. This is at an angle of what 30 degree. I'll turn it to the other way. I'll do the same thing at this point here. I'll draw another one. I will represent it now as Z. And that Z represents the width of the figure. Now, after we've done that, I can simply draw a base line if I want to, which is not necessary. I can just draw an horizontal line this way. To show that what it is inclined, this is 0 degree. This is 0 degree and this is 0 degree. So it is inclined at what? 30. So from here to here is 30. From here to here is 30. Now, the next thing you do, looking at the figure, is to look at the height of the figure. The height of this figure here is given as what? 30. Right? Now, since it's a circular here, both the length and the width is what? 60. Is that taken? Since it's what? A circular. The only way you can get a circular shape in isometric, the length and the width must be the same. They have equal dimension. So if my height is 30, so the length and the width is what? 60. So let's do that. So from this point here, I'll start measuring. We say that my height is what? Is 30. So from this point here, I will say this is, we're starting from what? From zero. And this is what? 30. Right? Is that again? Then the width, the length is also what? Is 60. This is 60, this is the length, 60, right? And the width is also what? 60. So this is what we have here. Now we are going to project those points upward. We project those points upward and make them form a box. How? Now look at what I will do. I will project here upward with the help of my set square. And I will project the other point also upward with the help of my set square. Knowing fully well that the set square is sitting on the T square. Now, what I did here at this point, I will do it here too. So let me assume that this point you are seeing here is um my baseline here just like what i did here i will now take my c square right i'll place it on my t square this way so at that point at an angle of 30 i'll draw a line and i'll locate it to this point right then i'll turn it to this point the other side now draw the same thing too i'll locate it to this point you can see that now similarly at this point here this another point i can just say okay this is a uh, or i can just draw my inclined line here or i will say that the line that i use to draw this inclined line here I will move my C square or my T square to the other point and I'll draw another line that is parallel to that line. So you can see that. And I'll do the same thing for here also. The line that I used to draw this, right? I'll move it, driving it on my T square until I get to this point. Then I'm going to do the same thing too. So this is what we have here. Starting, I've gotten these four points. 
Now the next thing is I will want to draw a circle here, right? The good news is this is the good news here. If you look at our figure, the figure is diameter of what 60, right? Meaning all the the, the width and the um, the length is what is 60. So I'm going to get the center of that figure. Which figure? This figure. So meaning that from here to here is 60, and from here to here is what 60, from here to here is 60, from here to here is 60. And we're having diameter. The diameter there means that it is what it is a circular shape. That's why we're having diameter. So I will just try and get the center of 60. I'll place my um rule here and ensure that it is 60 you can see from one from zero to six is 60 so half of 60 is 30 right i will just come here i'll use my c square placing it on my t square now I'll just draw this line this way That is the center. Now I don't have to stress myself to do the other one here. I can easily draw the diagonal of this shape here. The longest one. You can see that? That is the longest one. So where this line and diagonal meet, right? They are meeting at this point here. Don't get confused with this one. This is not part of our drawing right so let me just remove it now i said where this line that we draw that is the half of this distance is which is 30 and diagonal line the longest one which is this because this is also a diagonal line but this is shorter why this is what longer so where they meet will be the center of that uh, that um surface so i'll now place my c square or my t square since I use this to draw this horizontal line, this same line here, I'll go to that point and draw another line that is parallel to that line, like this. So automatically what we see is the center here. Or you can actually just measure this the way you measure this. Now we've gotten that. Now our aim is to draw a circular shape there. What you do is you take your point your line you draw a line from either of these two ends here you place it here and you draw a line that will touch this point here you can see that and you draw another one that will touch the other point as if you are writing a shape v you can see like you're writing what a shape v so where the v shape touches the diagonal line here is where our point is now, I haven't done that, I will now draw this. I will now place my compass at this point here, right? And I will gauge it to the end here, right? That is where I am going to draw my circle. So I will draw it this way. There's the first one now the same thing i'll come here also place it at this point also here yeah. and i'll get it to this end here so i'll get it to this end here this is where i will draw the other one can you see that and i'll place it at this end here where the v-shape is i'll click the other end and i'll get it and showing it's touching the other part here right
you see that now i'll turn the other point to the other end here and i'll gauge it to this point here and ensure that they are what they are touching you can see that now i have done this what is remaining will be we've drawn this part which is this part here you can see that now what is remaining is to draw this now if you look at this it is another circular shape here so i'm going to draw it at the base which is here at the base here so what i'll simply do that will make my work easier is that what i use to draw this line here let me take it down a little bit what i use to draw this line here right i'm going to move it until i get to the other end point and i'll complete this draw another line and i'll turn it this way And what I use to draw this here, I'll move it to this point to draw another line that will meet the other one here. So they are meeting at this point. You can see that. Then I'll draw a diagonal, this diagonal here. Just like the way I drew a diagonal here. I'll draw a diagonal. I'm having this. Now to help ourselves, we can, we, what we'll do here, we want to repeat what we did here, here also. But I don't have enough time to be doing that. What I will do is, I'm going to transfer points back here. So, if I place my T-square, my C-square on my T-square, I'll move it to this point. I need this point. So, I'll move it to this point here. It is this point to this point this is it here i'll move the other one to to the other point to this point to this point is here right now i've gotten those two points now the next thing i need is i've gotten this point this point and these two end points which is what i need now this end here right that is the half of this line i'll just bring them down and I'll tell you why. So if I trace them to this point, this is where it is. And if I trace this one to the other point, this is where it is. So it's stopping here. Right? The same thing too here. I'll do the same thing at this point too. Trace here to this point. And also this point here to this point. So that means if I want to draw my shape here now, I'll take my compass. I'll place it at this end here to this end here just like what I did between here and here I'll place it here and I'll draw a shape but the good news is from here to this point I'll stop here right the remaining aspects here is just hidden line because we cannot see it right I'll come here also, this point which is like this point here, I'll place it here, I'll get it to this end here, right, then I'll measure, so what I'll do is, I'll just draw my line here, so let's see, right, then the remaining one is just an hidden line. Is that taking? Right? Now I will not take it to this point here. Get it here. And see if they are meeting. I see that. 
Yeah. I'll now come to this point here and ensure that I want to do the other aspect from this point to the other point here, right? But it will be what? To be hidden line. I don't draw my hidden line because why am I using hidden line? Because we are not seeing it. You can see that. So I will just use my meter rule and connect from here to here. Then from here also to here. You can see that. So we have successfully drawn the shape that is shown at the top right corner of the screen, right? So it is not necessary you do the inner one here. If I like, I can remove it. Is that again? So this is the shape of the isometric projection of the disc. And if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button.